Hi there. We're going to walk through the architectural presets bundle. And this is one that's very near and dear to my heart. So I'm really excited to walk you through what's included and what each preset can do and hopefully show you how this can be a great integral part of your workflow. Um, let's take a look at what's included in the bundle. We have three presets for details, three for exterior, and three for interior. And for each cluster, there is a clean, a clean and brighten, and a clean and darken. Now, the clean is just sort of your, I have an example here, so we'll show you on here. So clean is just sort of your middle of the road, slightly brightens, adds a little bit more polish, the adds some clarity, a little vibrancy to the colors, adjusts the highlights and shadows and so forth. None of the presets are going to alter your white balance, which I felt was really important because depending on light sources, time of day, camera settings, the white balance could be just about anything and you could need to adjust just in several spots or the entire frame so that's something that's very uh, very tailored to the situation the climate the location the design that's something that I felt was not adjustable on a preset it, you couldn't do a blanket adjustment that would benefit you and really save you time so white balance is not set with these presets and in most cases that will actually be a big time saver because white balance typically is going to be dealt with in camera. So your clean is sort of your middle of the road adjustment. Clean and brighten is for when you have photos that are slightly underexposed and you want to add a little bit more brightness to them and this one obviously was not very underexposed so it's nice to have it bright but not quite so bright. Clean and darken is for the opposite when you have photos that have been slightly overexposed and you want to make up for that and you want to bring highlights back you want to darken overall but still provide that polish so this helps to compensate for slight overexposure. So for this one for example I'm going to go with clean and brighten because I do want it to be nice and bright, but I'm going to make an adjustment to the preset and tone back the exposure a little bit, maybe to right around there, and tone down the highlights a bit. There we go. So that to me looks a lot better. It's brighter than what the clean preset would have given me, but it's not quite as bright as the clean and brighten preset. So I use the clean and brighten as my base and then I made slight adjustments as needed. Let's take a look at an exterior shot and the exterior presets are probably my favorite because they provide the most oomph and the most kind of impact but it still looks very realistic and very um, user-friendly, very kind of everyday friendly for client work. It doesn't give you anything too crazy dramatic. So here I've applied the clean preset and let me undo that so you can see kind of the difference. This is our original shot and applying the clean preset it helps brighten up some of those shadows, it warms everything up a little bit especially the shadows and it tones down the highlights a bit. If you do clean and brighten now this is, for the sample photo, going to be too bright, but again, it just brightens everything up, takes it up a notch. Clean and darken goes the other direction for photos that are slightly overexposed. So we're going to go with the clean. And here I can show you some of the brushes. Now we have this doorway here to one of the bedrooms, and I want to bring out those shadows a little bit. Now there are four brushes included with your bundle. One is to make the light cooler. So if you have warm areas in a space, you can cool that light temperature down. Then you have the one for warmer light. If you have spots that have a cooler light tone, light temperature, you want to warm those up a bit. We have to brighten shadows, 
and darken highlights. Brighten shadows and darken highlights, those are the two that I probably use the most. They are extremely useful and vital to my workflow. So for this one, I'm going to pick brighten shadows and I want to use it on this doorway. So I'm going to keep the flow a bit low. I don't want it to be super dramatic. And I'm going to go ahead and put this brush over that doorway. And it just helps to bring that out a bit. I'm going to adjust the noise control. There we go. So I'm happy with that. It helps bring that out a bit so you have a glimpse of what's through the doorway. But we're not going for a very um, unrealistic sort of look. We want it to look natural, as natural as possible. And then I see we have some bright spots here with the homes beyond that are in this bright sun. So I'm going to go ahead and use that as a chance to show you the Darken Highlights brush. And we're going to bring down the size a little bit. And then these, again, are subtle adjustments. You can either tweak the sliders so that you can see there the effect it's having on the facades of the homes in the background or you can keep it where it was at and you can do multiple brushes until you get the layered effect that is as strong or as light as you would like. And finally let's look at an interior shot. So again we have clean, clean and brighten, and clean and darken. So I'm going to go with clean and brighten for this one. And instantly I see there are some spots that are too bright. So I'm going to tone those back and I'm going to use the brushes as a graduated filter, which is one of my favorite tools in Lightroom to use for architectural, especially for interiors. And we're going to use darken highlights and I'm going to tone this way down because I do want it to have more impact because those spots are quite bright. Now I still want it to be even a little bit darker. I'm going to actually adjust the exposure on this one to see if that's closer to what I want and it is. Maybe a little bit more clarity. There we go. And then I'm going to use the same exact settings and apply it in this corner because that's a really bright spot. Now I'm pretty happy with how the highlights look here. There are a couple of blown out spots, but those are from looking directly at the bulbs. So in this case, I'm going to leave those as is. The photo overall is looking a little bit warm, so I'm going to go ahead and cool it off a touch. And I'm noticing that in this area, for example, there is an area that just has cooler light on it and it's not quite as warm as the rest of the space so I'm going to use the local adjustment brush go to warmer light I'm going to tone the flow down a bit and maybe tone the temperature down I'm going to make this large There we go. And I can already see that that's starting to feel a little bit more even with the light around it. And the last thing I would want to do here is bring out this darker area of shadow where the tub is set back. So again, I'm going to go to the brush and I'm going to go to brighten shadows. I'm going to make this a little bit stronger. Brush a bit smaller. And there we go. And you can see it's bringing out those shadows and it's not doing a dramatic change to it, but subtle enough that it's going to bring out some of those shadows. And I'm going to layer it a couple of times, actually, just to slowly bring out a little bit more of that. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with how that looks overall. And let's take a quick look. If I reset, that's how it was to the after. And this is simply using one of the presets and a couple of the brushes. For the exterior shot, if I reset, 
Again, this is subtle changes. Brighten the, brighten the shadows, add some pops of color, just to really make it go from a typical ho-hum photo to something that will keep clients happy and coming back. Something that stands out from the masses, right? And then the final one, the detail. There we go. So I hope that this has been really helpful in showing you how these presets can be vital to your workflow for any sort of architectural or real estate photography that you might need. And I hope they provide a really strong base for you to work off of. I know that they are really, really important part of my, my workflow. Thanks so much for tagging along for this edit, and I will see you guys next time.